If you're new to the Windows command line, then this should be 10 essential or 10 useful console commands that you should know. So let's get started with number one, which is DIR. So here we're going to be able to view the files and folders within a directory. So you can see that this is the home directory for this user, and these are all the files and folders in the folder. So I can view them on the command prompt by typing in DIR. This is going to show me all the files and folders inside of this folder, a Xander. So now we know how to access or view all the files and folders. Let's have a look at now CD, which is going to allow us to navigate or change directory. So normally you would just change directory by double clicking on a folder. So in the command prompt, we're utilizing CD. So we're inside this folder called a Xander. If I type in DIR, I can see all the folders that are inside of this folder. Now, if I wanted to, for example, go back a folder to the users, then I just need to type in CD dot dot dash, and that will take me back to the users folder. Now, what I can also do is chain this together. So if I type in dot dot dash dot dot dash, that's going to take me back two folders. So I'm going to go back to the C drive. So let's just try that. And now you can see I've gone from the A Xander folder back to the C drive and I can press DIR to look for all the files and folders within the C drive. If I wanted to move forward or go into a folder in this A Xander folder, let's just check to see again what folders are inside of here and let's move into the music folder. So what I can do here is type in CD and then the letter M. Now I can also press tab which is going to find all the folders with the letter M at the start. If there's only one, it's going to show me just the one folder. But you can see I press tab twice and it brings up the name of the folder. And that just allows me there to not have to type in the whole folder name, just quick access to the folder. So now I can press enter. And now I've traveled from the A Xander folder and now I'm inside of the music folder. So it is possible to chain this together. So if I wanted to go into a folder called music, and then if there were a folder inside of that called songs, I could then move into the folder structure like that. So I don't have to move into the folder one by one. I can select multiple folders to go into. Okay, so maybe not essential, but this is definitely handy if you want to find out what drives you have available on your computer. So typically we have the C drive, but if you've got other devices connected, you want to know what drive letter they are. So we can type in this Windows Management Interface command, logical disk get caption, and there we can view all the devices that are connected to this computer. So in your command prompt, simply type in the command, and there you'll be able to view all the devices that are connected to this computer. And then from there we can use CD and then the name of the drive, colon and backslash, and that would take you to the drive. So you probably noticed that every time you open up the command prompt, you're placed within the user's home directory. So when you're working on projects where you need the command prompt to open in particular project folders, you can change this. So if I Go to the start, type in CMD, and then just right click on the command prompt app and then select open file location. From here, if I right click on the command prompt and select properties, now what I can do is select the start in. So I can select the folder that the command prompt opens to. So for example, if I want it to open up in my project here, I can just copy the file and folder location and then go back and then paste it in the start in and press apply and okay. So now when I open up the command prompt, it opens up in my project folder. So number four then, the screen can get pretty busy. So CLS clears the screen of other commands and text. So take for example here, if I press DIR, eventually the screen gets really busy. So I can type in CLS and that would just clear the screen. So moving on to number five, so mkdir or make directory. So here we're going to make a new directory. So back in my project folder, I type in mkdir 
And then I just need to name the folder I want to make. So for example, new. So now when I type in DIR, I can see that I now have the new folder and I can also just view that here. And you can see that I've created a new folder. So there's a few permutations here. I can make a folder in a folder, for example. So if I type in MKDIR and then the folder name, so new folder, and then utilize the backslash. And then inside of that, I want to place a new folder. I can now see that I have a new folder called new FD and inside of that, a new folder called new FD. So we can also make multiple folders inside of a new folder. So if I type in MKDIR and then make a new folder and then a folder inside of that called FD1, I can then make another folder inside the initial folder called FD2 and so on. Okay, so next up, number six is echo. So here we're going to create a new file and add some text within it. So a simple example, I type in echo and then some text and then the name of the file. So new.txt. So the file extension here can be replaced to any file extension you want to use. I press enter and now I can see I've got a new text file here with the word text inside. So at number seven, we have the delete files. So here we can delete a file, an individual file or all files inside of a folder. So take this example, we have a file here called text and inside of this folder, we've got multiple files. So if I just type in Dell and then text, that's going to get rid of the individual file in the folder. And now if I want to get rid of all the files inside of the folder called a, then I type in Dell and the name of the folder. And I'll be asked if I'm sure I press Y. And that should now remove all the files inside of this folder. Okay, so at number eight, we have find string. So for example, you're in your project folder and you want to find a file with a particular string. So here I've set up a three folders here. Two of them have the word hello and one of them doesn't. The C has no text at all. So let's utilize find string to find all the files that has the word hello. So if I type in find string, first of all, I need to define the string I'm trying to find in this case, hello. And then I want to define what files I want to look for or what files to run the search in. So if I type in, for example, star, that's going to look for all the files inside of this project folder, but I could also just name the file if I wanted to. So let's look for all the files for the string hello. So you can see that I've returned two files, the text, hello, how are you in the a.txt file and in the b.txt file, I also have found hello. So at number nine, we have the manual pages. So if you wanted to learn a little bit more about a command, we can type in the command and forward slash question mark. So a simple example here, we want to learn more about DIR. We can type in forward slash question mark. That's going to return all the different switches we could utilize um, for this. Uh, notice that, for example, if we utilize the slash Q with the DIR, that's going to show us the or display the owner of the file. So here I just type in DIR and then forward slash Q. And here I've got the, the owner of the file on the right hand side. So the manual files are useful when you want to learn a little bit more about how you can utilize some of the commands. Okay. And number 10 in this list is the IP config. So viewing the IP address of your machine. So simply just type in IP config. There we go. So my IP address is here. Now I'm using the ethernet card, but you might be utilizing your wireless uh, network device. So look for that. So you can see here that my IP version four is 192.168.249.137. So I can also view everything by typing IP config uh, forward slash all. That's going to show me all the different network devices that I might have on the machine. Okay. So there we have it. 10 essential. <laughs> 
kind of essential console commands. Every new developer and other people using Windows who are starting using the command prompt should know. Please leave any hate comments in the comments section because I'm sure I've missed a few commands or some of these commands are probably not as essential as some might consider essential. It is obviously subjectional here, um, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.